Guys, if there's one thing I regret doing with my Capra, I mean, one thing that I regret, it's the boring silver paint job. You know, that's probably the one thing that I, you know, dislike the most. It's just silver and black, you know? So it's time to change that up. It's time to get some red in this thing. Vetivon got these carbon fiber pieces that I'm going to put on the Capra. I'm going to do my best to try to show the depth of this carbon. It is, uh, it's... It's unlike what I've ever seen before. Most carbon is just, you know, flat and usually black or gray, you know, some kind of a weave. Well, I've got like a, it's got a, a silver on the back side, but that on top, it's deep. It's, uh, it's, it's nice. I'm going to try my best to show this as best I can so you guys can get an, a feel for just what it will look like on your own Capra. There are links in the description for these, along with the uh, Vitavon transmission case. And I also have other stuff coming from Vitavon. Right after I order these, he throws out the brass portal covers. It's like, man, why didn't you tell me? But anyway, I've got those on the way, so look forward to those here in the future. Yeah, but for right now, here we are, and there are links to the brass covers and everything in the description. So make sure you take a look at that. Now, let's start taking a look at this. Let's just see if I can show you guys some of the depth of this. I mean, it just looks, it's like it's got a clear coat that's amazing. You can actually see some of the images. Wow. It's just amazing. I've never seen molded carbon before. Maybe I'm just out of the loop, but this is awesome. The old panels are off. And it's just... <laughs> no contest. I do like my stickers, though. So I'm going to have to come up with some stickers that will show up. But that can happen a little bit later. Right now, it's all about the red. Just for the heck of it, I decided to weigh them. Now, the red carbon panels are 75 grams. Oh, my 9 volt battery died, so I'm using my Toolkit RC M8S as a power output, as a power supply, off of a 3S at 9.2 volts. So, yeah. Anyway, about 75 grams for these. And 34 grams for the stock panels. So, basically... If you were strict competition and every gram up top counts, the stock panels would be your best option. However, these right here are going to be on mine just fine. I've got the hood ready to go on. The screws go in kind of tight, but they go through just fine. Just kind of, you know, work them just a little bit. But yeah, really impressed. I want you guys to see the underside. I'm assuming this is obviously the natural color of the carbon. And then you have this. The hood is on. It fits nice and snug. Just kind of push these up a little bit. And there we go. That's nice. Bend is flawless. Before I put this last panel on, that is also the Vitavon transmission case. CNC billet aluminum. And that is a Crawlmaster Pro 550 motor. So yeah, pretty darn awesome. Really want to try to get the depth. And I keep saying depth because, well, <laughs> this just looks great. I mean, I don't know of any other thing to say here. With the new concrete work, I'm going to try some new lines. Now, it's still stretch wheelbase, so let's see if we can get a hook right up here and make this one. There we go. Let's 
Now when it comes to these spots like this sometimes that extra wheelbase really isn't the best of things. And for me to effectively use four wheel steer I need to change back to a different model on my tr on my radio. But I'll just keep on driving. I'll use that dig a little bit more. <laughs> it's like I'm really trying to not flip this thing right now. Perfect, there it is. I've been up that a few times with the long wheelbase. There's a particular spot where the tires just can hook the rocks and they'll actually, you know, make that climb just perfectly. That is pretty vertical right there. I want to try something else. Pretty sure I can get this if I can just get that front to get a hook. <laughs> Dang it, when it goes into dig, it drops just enough where that front end can't quite catch it. Come on. I might be just wasting time here, guys, but I really want to try to get this. Man, I'm so close. I can just catch the inside of that tire just a little bit. Ow! That was not what I wanted. Man, that's not what I wanted. Definitely made it through a little bit. Man, here I was trying to keep everything all nice and clean. Dirty rock. <laughs> Let's get on over to the other side. Get down a little bit, get some decent angle, and hop it just a little bit. Let's see here. There we go. Wow, this is weird. Go something a little different this time. Let's see if I can go down this and see if I can go back up it. And going up it, it is quite steep. I'll probably get some more damage here. Let's see. Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh. right through the crack came up right through the crack and made it up oh, not quite yet beautiful first time I've ever taken that line all right I can bump up this. It's gonna be interesting when I try a different pinion. 
Oh, look at that climb. That was nice. Huh. All right, a little dig action. Bring that front end around. I should show you guys a little more of that, shouldn't I? There we go. Look at that dig action. Driving with a switch on the rear. I have no dig action on that. Ah, heck with it. Let's just drive. Well guys, hopefully I was able to show you the depth and the beauty of these panels. And inadvertently, I showed you guys some durability on these things. Trust me, crashing it like that was not my intent. I was actually in reverse trying to save it by bringing the front end down. But when you're playing around the rocks, things get hit. And other than the scratch and the gouge, which I've actually got a uh, red marker over that, so it just kind of... Unless somebody's looking for it, they're not going to notice it. And really, you didn't notice it in the video after that scratch. And it wasn't even marked at that point. So, but anyway, nothing broke on it. It took the hit. And that was a pretty rough hit. I, I got to admit, that was not part of the game plan. I'm really hoping to get up that ledge. I think if I can get the front to just grab and just, you know, get a catch on that and get up it. I think that would be pretty darn awesome, and it would be something to put the super light on right here. It would be something to maybe do that rematch that I've seen a few of you guys ask about because the cappers came a long way since it went up against the super light, and the super light put the beat down on it. Huh. Well, anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video, and there are links in the description for all the Vitavon stuff, so make sure you take a look at that. And, guys... Thank you all for watching.